This is where my name is Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Abiyaz from my from Jirin. Today we are going to program Delta PLC model EX2 having 8 digital inputs and 6 digital outputs. It also contains analog inputs and outputs which we are going to cover in our next uh, labs. Okay, so Delta PLC provides us with the software that WPL soft we are going to use the software to create this basic example of operating a lamp by using a push button I'm going to create a new program by going to file new this is the window where we are going to choose our PLC model I'm going to name it basic you, you can name it uh, whatever you like and in this window we are going to select our PLC model. It's EX2. We can change uh, file name as well. We can name it as basic. Okay, so these are our communication settings that are used uh, to communicate our PLC with different devices or our computer. These are the settings that are mostly default for rates, topics, data length. We are not going to change anything from here and COM port is default as well. Okay. This is our window or you can say environment where we are going to use different contacts from here that would represent inputs or outputs and later on in our future labs we are going to use all the advanced functions as well. Since our today's example is of to operate a lamp by using a push button, I'm going to use contact from here. X uh, represents our inputs and Y represents outputs. All the other uh, contacts we are going to use all these in our later labs. So I will name it as our push button okay. and for output we are going to use a simple coil it's y0 and we can name it lamp there's one more option if you are not going to use these graphical symbols over here i can simply use press enter and put up my command over here as he means load uh, and it is used when we are going to use input I can name it x0 and x1 uh, show that we can use any contact over here but it should contact should be in our PLC like our PLC at has seven eight inputs x0 to x7 so let's say uh, we can use x1 over here i'll press enter again and for output file i'm going to use out y0 this green uh, high, highlight represents that program is uh, not compiled yet i'm going to press this code button or uh, you can press Control F7 to compile it. It shows the end command here by default after we compile the program. And I'm going to put my PLC in online mode now. It says overhead that program is not consistent with PLC. That means there's uh, a program or could be a previous program in my PLC. I'm going to override it. press execute and here the run command shows that our PLC is now communicating you can see over here the communication com1 light is blinking now that means our program has been successfully downloaded here's LED all the inputs and outputs have LEDs over here that represents its uh, status since it is showing some Selector switch is pressed. I have turned off the selector switch now. Since I have taken over here X1, 
as my input I am going to press X1 push button and Y0 lamp would turn on. As you can see when I press the button the light lamp Y0 turns on and as I leave the switch it turns off since we have we had to use a non storing output in our example and in normally open contact a momentary push button. If I had used the selector switch it would hold its position and light would remain off but uh, that would be in our later examples. So this is the basic program and I hope uh, you have learned what I have covered in this example. Thank you.